going to talk today. This is chapter one, section one. This is lines in a plane. <clears throat> All right, lines in a plane. This will be on your quiz. First thing we're going to talk about is slope. You guys have heard this before. Slope is how steep a line is. It's the change in y over the change in x. It's our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Everybody remember that? If you don't write that down, stay with me, bud. Write that down, circle it, star it, whatever you need. But slope is just the change in y, up and down, over the change in x, <clears throat> left to right. We're going to talk about positive and negative slopes and stuff like that. This is a really important slide for you guys to look at. For some reason, we always get confused on no slope and zero slope. A positive slope, guys, just take a second to think. If something is positive in your life, it's going which direction? Up, okay? How do you read a book? Left to right. Left to right. So when you have a line, put your finger, literally, put your finger. I'm going to put my pen. I'm going to use a, something else. Okay. On the left-hand side, the furthest left on this line I can go, I'm going to put my pen. And I'm going to follow the line. Which way is it going? Up or down? Uh, up. Do you see? Uh, it's, it's going upwards. It's positive. Same thing with a negative line. If you have a picture and your line <clears throat> looks like this, they say this is positive or negative, put your pen, put your finger on the furthest left on the line because you read left to right and follow it. Which direction is it going? Down. down. So when we talk about slope, and if you work something out and you say the slope is two-thirds, is that positive or negative? Positive. So which way, when you draw your line, should it be going? Upwards. If it's like this, which way, when you draw your line, should it go? Downwards. So don't get hung up on like, okay, I have to go down two, and then which way, left or right? Just think. Just think. If my slope is negative, when I move down, if my slope is negative, which way do I have to move to put another point? If I have a point here and I move down on my, x, my y axis, which way would I put my point in order to make it a negative line when I move down? I would put it to the, right. to the right. Good, because when I connect those dots, which way is my line going? Down. All right, we'll talk more about that, but that's important for you guys to remember. Now, here's where we get confused. I don't know why, <clears throat> but if I have a vertical line, think about this, guys. I'm not Spider Woman. If I walked over to that wall and tried to actually literally walk up it, could I? No, it's impossible. A vertical line has undefined slope. It's impossible. You can't do it. A horizontal line, what's a horizontal line that I'm standing on right now? The floor. Can I walk left and right? Yes. I just went the opposite way of what I said. But as I'm walking left and right, am I going up at all? Am I going down? No, it's just staying constant. It's not moving up. It's not moving down. It's just constant. It's zero. So a horizontal line, left to right, left to right, has zero slope. A vertical line, up and down. Can you walk up and down a vertical line? No, it's impossible. Another thing I want you to write down, and this, for some reason, this just gets stuck in our brain. A vertical line. The equation of a vertical line. Everybody wants to say it's y equals because it's going up and down. This vertical line crosses what axis? Yeah. So if you have a line that just says graph x equals 6, you're going to put a point at where? Six. On what axis? Yes. And you're going to draw a line through it. x equals is a vertical line. So y equals is a what? horizontal line. For some reason, we get that stuck. We're like, oh, we see y that goes up and down. But think about it. y equals 7. If I put a point right here at y equals 7, and I want to draw a line through it, it's going to go left to right. It's going to go right through it. So make sure you guys are paying attention to that. y equals 7 is a horizontal line. has zero slope. x equals 6 is a vertical line, and its slope is undefined. You can say none, but don't write zero, because that's different. <clears throat> okay, slope-intercept form. You guys have seen that a gajillion times. Y equals mx plus b. Yeah? Slope is m. b is your y-intercept. Point slope form, we'll talk a little bit about. If you're given a point and the slope, you just plug in. You plug in the y that they give you, the x that they give you, and the m. And then you just solve it so it looks like this line. 
work, meaning. What's my slope? What is it? What is it? And this, what I just drew, and y equals 1 half x plus 3. What's my slope? One half. One half. Is this a positive line or a negative one? Positive. positive. It's going to cross where on the y-axis? Where on the y-axis? At 3. OK. We should be familiar with that. Now, when I look down here in standard form, standard form goes x, y, equal sign, constant. I could rewrite this if I had y equals 1 half x plus 3. And they said, rewrite this in standard form. Well, what should come first on the left-hand side? In standard form, x. So how would I get this 1 half x to move over there? Subtract it. So if I subtract it, I have negative 1 half x plus y equals 3. Is that in standard form now? Does it go x, y, equal sign, constant? No. Yep. So you're good. We'll practice that. We'll practice just moving from one form to another. It doesn't change the value of anything. It's just moving stuff around. <clears throat> okay. Find the slope of the line with the given information. If they just give you two points, guys, they just give you two points, what formula do you use to find the slope? The slope formula. So slope equals y2 minus y1. My stylus is not working. Over x2 minus x1. Don't get hung up on which one's the second one, which one's the first one. Whatever, you st whatever number you start with in the first order pair, start with it. The y, then start with x, the same thing. Meaning, like I told you with everything else, I like to put my points on top of each other, right? So negative 5, 7. Here's my x's, here's my y's. <clears throat> y2 minus y1. I personally would go 7 minus 2. Doesn't matter, you do 2 minus 7. But if I start with 7 minus 2 for the y, what do I have to start with for x? The 5, the negative 5. Whatever point you start with on top, you need to start with that other point on the bottom. So I would say 7 minus 2 over what? Negative 5 minus negative 3, or plus 3. Good. Very good. So this would work out to be 7 minus 2 is? Over negative 5 plus 3 is? Negative 2. So my slope is negative 5 over 2. You guys leave that as an improper fraction. Slope is never in a mixed number. So if I was going to draw this line, which way would it go? Down. Because it's? Negative. negative. Does it matter, ladies and gents, if it's negative 5 over 2 no. or 5 over negative 2 or the negative's out in front and it's 5 over 2? All that negative sign is telling you is the direction of the line. Don't get hung up. Oh, the negative is with the 5. It doesn't matter. Just go up, da up, and, da up and down 5, left and right 2. Just make sure you pick the right direction because you want your line to slope the correct way. And then if I give you a picture, slope is really easy. It's what over what? Slope is rise over. So how many did I go up or down? It doesn't matter. Already, you can tell me something about my slope. This is what kind of a slope? Why is it negative? It's going down. So go ahead and put that. Put a negative sign. Now you don't even have to worry about, oh, gosh, which way do I go? Who cares? Start from one point. Go to the other one. If you start here, how many spaces did I go up? One, two, three. Three, four. Yes? yes? So it's four on the y, and then one, two, three, four on the x. So what's my slope here? One. What kind of one? Negative. Negative one. That's hard to see. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Graph using line point. Use the slope to find the next two. Uh, we don't worry about that. All right. Vertical lines, horizontal lines. We just talked about this. A vertical line has an equation x equals. There will be a question on your quiz, and it'll say graph and tell me the slope. So if you have something like this, if I said graph x equals 2, and then graph y equals negative 3. I want you to graph these and tell me what their slope is. So if I graph x equals 2, where am I putting a point? 
If I graph x equals 2, where am I putting a point? Uh, on the x-axis. On the x-axis at what number? 2. two. two. Okay. So if I put a point right here, guys, where am I going to draw my line? I want to go right through that point. So where am I going to go? Up and down. Up and down. Does everybody see that? I know it's x. You automatically think horizontal. No. Put your point and think about it. So think about it. Can I walk across that line? No. Can I walk up it? No. So what's my answer for slope? Slope is what? Undefined or none. Doesn't matter. Do not write zero. So if I'm going to grasp, graph y equals negative 3, first things first, where do I put my point? On the y-axis at what number? What? Negative 3. Okay. And I want to draw a line right through it. So I'm going which way? Left to right. Left to right. Horizontal. Good. So think about that. Put yourself on that line. Can you walk from left to right? Yeah. yeah. Did you go up or down at all? No. No, it was just plain. Not plain. Uh, flat. So my slope here would be what number? Zero. Zero. Do you guys see the difference? Yeah. Okay. Half of you will get that wrong. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, find the slope and the y-intercept and then graph. I'm not super concerned with the graphing right this second, but we'll do it. But the first two, <coughs> excuse me, the first two examples, A and B, are in what form? Y equals mx plus b. It's already there for you guys. It is glaringly obvious in your face. So let's use different colors. I'm going to use red. There's a way I can change the colors on here. I just don't know. Oh, <gasps> look at me. I get so excited about little stuff like this. It's ridiculous. I have such pretty colors on my notability. I'm a darker green. Whatever, that'll work. Hold on, let me change the blue and then we'll go. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. Okay. So we're going to use pink for this first line right here. <clears throat> What's my slope for this line? What's my slope? Two, two over one. one, good. And what's my y-intercept? Negative one. Negative one, okay. So everybody understand that, agree with me. Okay, so if I'm gonna graph this line, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a point at negative one. Now think about it, what direction? Think in your mind, where do you want this line to go? It's a positive slope. You want it to go up, so from left to right, you want it to go up. So from this point, I'm going to go up two and to the right one. Then I'm going to go down two and to the left one. The reason I went up and right and down and left is because I knew when I drew this line, I wanted it to slope upwards. Does that make sense? Oh, mother. Okay. Let's look at the next one. <clears throat> y equals negative 3x plus 2. This is already in y equals mx plus b. Yes? Yes. Okay, so what is my slope here? Negative 3. Negative 3 over 1. one. Good. And my y-intercept is at? 2. Is at 2. So I'm going to go to my graph, and at 2, I'm going to put a big old dot. Now, before you guys think, okay, when I do I go up? Which way? Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. Which way should my line go? Down. down left to right it should go downward so from this point I'm gonna go down three and which way right. to the right one then from here I'm gonna go up three and to the left one and the reason I went that direction is because when I draw my line what do I want it to do go, down. go downwards does that make sense yeah. yes okay, I'm trying to make this as sensible as possible now this last one, what form is this one written in? Don't whisper it, tell me. Standard. Standard, thank you. In order to graph a line, we have to have it in what kind of form? MX. Okay, mx plus b, slope intercept. So I need to say, okay, I need this to say y equals mx plus b. So what do I have to move? I gotta move the x and then do what? Get rid of the two. So first of all, to get rid of the x, how would I move three x from the left hand side to the right hand side? Good. I'm gonna subtract from both sides. That's what we're trying to do right here. 
So I have 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. Write the x first because our form is mx plus b. Now, is y completely by itself yet? No. No. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide everything by 2. So I have y equals, leave your fraction because that's your slope, plus what's 6 divided by 2? 3. Now are we in slope intercept form? Yes. Yes. My slope here happens to be what? Negative, negative 3 over 2. And my y intercept is? 3. Perfect. So I'm going to go here to 3. And before I draw my line, go point anywhere, I want to think, okay, should my line slope down like the blue or up like the pink? Down, down like the blue. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, and over 2 to the right. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and over 2 to the left. Is that a negative line that I just drew? Yes, it is. <clears throat> Good. Okay, let's look at this next one. Find the equation of the line with the given information. This one is point-slope form. We're not going to do a lot with point-slope form. I'm going to show you this, just kind of remind you. Some of you may not have seen it before, but point-slope form is y minus y1 equals x times x. Just kidding. Hang on. m times x minus x1. <clears throat> m times x minus x1. When you are doing something with point-slope form, it's called point-slope because they're going to give you a point and a slope. So in point-slope form, like for this one, I'm going to say y minus, what is the y part of the point that they gave me? Seven, Seven okay. Equals, what's my slope? Two. Two times x minus, what's the x part that they gave me? Negative one. And then all you do here is simplify to get it into y equals. So you have y minus seven. So I would say, I'm going to distribute two times x, two times one. So I have two x plus two. And then at y equals mx plus b, what do I need to move? Seven. The seven. I'm going to add seven to both sides. So I have y equals two x plus nine. We're not going to do a lot with point slope. If you had to write the equation of a line just given two points, what do you have to find first? How do you write the equation of a line? Y plus mx. Y, okay, so what are the things that you need? The slope and the y-intercept. So if you're given two points, can you find the slope? Yeah, yeah you can find the slope. It's y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1, right? So I'm going to write these on top of each other so I don't get messed up. What are my y's? <clears throat> one, and seven. one and seven, seven and one. So you can say one minus seven. Since I started with one on top, well, it doesn't really matter. What do I start with on the bottom? They're both negative eight. So I have negative eight minus what? Negative eight. So one minus seven is? Negative, zero. negative six. And then I have negative 8 plus 8 is what? Yeah. So what kind of a slope is that? Undefined. undefined. Very good. So that means, guys, what kind of a line am I going to have if it's undefined? Vertical. Very good. Very good. So it would be x equals, right? x equals. What do you notice about these two x values? They're both negative 8. They're both negative 8. So what kind of a line do you think this is? Vertical. At what point? Negative, negative 8. Good. Just getting you to think a little bit. Just getting you to think a little bit. Again, we're going to practice this over the weekend, and then we're going to practice on Monday to get ready for our quiz on Tuesday. Get excited. Yeah. All right, parallel perpendicular. Guys, this is super, super, super important to remember. Parallel. Here is the abbreviation for parallel. Anybody know? Uh, two lines. Mm -hmm. Two lines. Looks like a, like a football goal post kind of. Oh, man. Parallel, that's what it looks like. Parallel lines have the same slope. You need to remember that. Parallel, same slope. What do you know about parallel lines when they go on and on forever and ever and ever? They never do what? Okay. Never touch, never meet. <clears throat> perpendicular. This is what perpendicular looks like. Upside down T. Where does the perpendicular line meet? Okay, I, I see what you're saying about at the center, but what, what is formed right here in the corner? A right angle. Perpendicular lines meet at right angles. They have opposite reciprocal slopes. 
meaning. Opposite. If something is positive, what's the opposite? Negative. If something's negative, what's the opposite? Positive. Reciprocal. What does that word mean? Okay, you got to do what? You got to flip, flip it. Good. So think about this. If I have, we'll just talk about some slopes. Here we go. We have, I got a slope of one half. I have a slope of negative five thirds, and I have a slope of four. <clears throat> Give me the parallel slope for all three of these. What would the parallel slope be for one half? One half. What would the parallel slope be? Hold on a sec. What's the parallel slope going to be for negative five thirds? I'm going to do them all at the same time. You're fine. Negative five thirds. And what's the parallel slope for four? Four. Because parallel lines have what? Same slope. Same slope. So perpendicular slope. What's the perpendicular slope to one half? Negative what? Two over one. You make the sign opposite of what it is, and you flip. So what's the parallel, I mean, sorry, perpendicular slope to negative five-thirds? Positive three-fifths. Three Good. What is the parallel, yeah, perpendicular, sorry, guys, perpendicular slope to four? Negative, negative what? One. one over four. Good. Very good. Sometimes you guys get tripped up on that. Remember, if it's a whole number, what's underneath it? One. Good. Very good. On your quiz, I know for sure you'll have something like this to determine if they're parallel or perpendicular. Sometimes you can look and just see. Sometimes you can't. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to move stuff around. You got to get them into a certain, you know, you got to get them into y equals mx plus b, something like that. So make sure you're paying attention to this. But think about parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Above the word parallel, I want you to write the word same. Above perpendicular, I want you to put opposite, reciprocal. If you don't remember reciprocal, reciprocal, then put opposite flip or something like that so you know to flip it. So let's look at A. Are these two lines parallel? How do you know? Okay, the slopes are not exactly the what? Same. Here's my slope right here. All right, so if you have a parallel line, it has the exact same slope. If you have a perpendicular line, it's opposite reciprocal. So are these two numbers, go through this in your brain, are these two numbers, 2 and negative 2, are they exactly the same? No, so it's not parallel. Are they opposites of each other? They are opposites, but are they reciprocals? No. So are these perpendicular? So your answer here would be neither. All right, let's look here. Where's my slope? <clears throat> in line one, what's the slope? One over, three. one over three, one third. And then in line two, it's negative three, yes? Okay, so are these two numbers exactly the same? No. Are they opposite? Yeah. Reciprocals? Yeah. Yes. So what kind of lines are these? Perpendicular. perpendicular. Good. You can write the word perpendicular, or you can just do the sign. All right, lastly, well, how are you supposed to figure out if these two lines are parallel or perpendicular? Find the slope of both of them. So let's look at line one. Line one. My points are zero, negative one, and five, nine. So I'm going to say one minus nine over zero minus five. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Negative one, right? Negative one minus nine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So negative ten over negative five gives me what? Two. All right, let's do line two. I have zero, three, and four, one. So three minus one over zero minus four. You guys agree? Okay, so it's two over negative four, which reduces two. Negative one-half. All right, so look at my slopes. I have two and I have negative one-half. Are they exactly the same number? No. 
Are they opposite reciprocals? Yes. yes, so they are perpendicular. If they don't fall into either one of those categories, then they're neither. You just write neither. No big deal. <clears throat> All right, last thing. Last thing, last thing, last thing. This one, this one gets kind of gross. I'm going to change it just so the numbers aren't so awful. Just change this to uh, two, four. All right, I have to write the equation of a line given the point that's parallel and perpendicular. So you're going to have two answers here. What do I have to find first? I got to find the slope. Did they give me an equation that I can use to find the slope? Yes. So let's write it out. 3x plus 4y equals 7. I need to be in y equals mx plus b form. So what do I have to do? Okay, subtract the 3x from both sides. This problem's long, but it's not hard. So 4y equals negative 3x plus 7. Agreed? Now what? Divide everything by 4. We're going to get some gross numbers. It's okay. Y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 7 fourths. <clears throat> Change this to an 8. This will make our problem easier. What is 8 divided by 4? Okay, we'll just do that. So if I'm going to write two lines, one parallel, one perpendicular. Oh, great. <clears throat> okay, so I want a parallel line and I want a perpendicular line. So what does that mean my slope is going to be for the parallel line? What's, tell me, what's it going to be? Negative. Negative 3 over 4. What is my slope going to be for my perpendicular line? Positive 4 over 3. Do you guys see that? Does that make sense? That is the biggest thing I want you to pull out of this question. We'll do, I'll finish it with point slope, but we're not going to do a lot with point slope. But since they gave me this point here, I have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So given the point that they gave me, 2, 4, I'm going to say y minus 4 equals x minus 2. I'm plugging that in there. But when, and you guys can finish this. I'll finish this in the video later. But what am I plugging in for my parallel line? What am I plugging in for M? Negative 3 over 4. For my perpendicular line, I'm going to say, again, Y minus 4 equals, and then I have X minus 2, just using the point that they gave me, but I'm going to use positive 4 over 3. Do you see, guys, what I did? How I'm writing two different lines using the same point? Because a parallel line has the same slope and a perpendicular line has opposite reciprocal. Now, to finish this, you would just distribute and then combine like terms, get it together. I'll finish this on the video in a second. I'll just write it out so you can see it. But the main thing that you guys need to get from this is parallel lines have same slope because think they never touch they never 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 touch and then perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal super important to remember sound good yes. all right i'll finish this problem i'll work it out here in a second and then i'll upload the video but you guys have homework so you can get started on it no 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 monday monday morning so you can do it you know sunday night i'm sure most of you will do it but it's fine <laughs>